Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. I have the petition in the back with oils and herbs. I am using two body divine feminine candles. The black is for protection and removal to banish the negativity and also to protect our space. The green is to attract the loving Venusian energy of love with the herbs and offerings here to La Santissima Muerte, the hyssop, rose petals, Himalayan salt, and cinnamon, of course, to help speed up the process and to sweeten ourselves so that we can claim back our confidence, our beauty, our sexy selves, mind, body, and spirit in every way, shape, and form. Remember, the results will vary based on your connection with Santa Muerte, the offering, and also putting actual work into manifesting this. For example, going to the gym, eating healthier, you have to incorporate these items as well. It's not just wishing and then waiting for something to magically happen possibly could happen but for the most part you do have to put your effort as well so these are the candles we're going to get started and i will show you the santissima muerte in just a second thank you all for participating and here we go i also wanted to show you guys really quickly this is the incense that i'm using it is called santa muerte incenso so just so you know i am cleansing the entire space with this incense in her honor before lighting the candles all right you guys here is the beautiful santissima muerte She's all prepped and ready to go. She does have some offerings at the bottom that I'm not going to show, but this is Santa Muerte. Thank you so much for allowing me to do the ceremony for the collective, for those of you who have participated. I appreciate you all so much, and thank you, Santa Muerte, for allowing me to do this. Please protect me in my space as we ask for you to help us to manifest our confidence, our sexiness, our divine feminine, our beautiful essence, our charisma, what's rightfully ours, guy or girl, so that we can claim back our sex appeal and feel confident mind body and spirit whatever that looks like santa muerte you know what we need and i thank you so much for allowing me to do this on behalf of others and for just protecting us and guiding me to do the ceremony for those that need assistance and i thank you santa muerte for allowing me to connect with you i hope you like these offerings thank you so much and we're going to get started guys all right you guys here are the candles that i lit the black one turned off and I had to light it back up again. If you notice, it's already showing me a release of negativity as the wax is starting to roll down on the right side, which represents releasing. The left side would be the feminine receiving. So we are releasing all this negativity. And with the beautiful green candle, this lit very easily. And it's going right down to the left, as you can see. So we are receiving that nurturing divine feminine energy. Thank you, Santa Muerte, for that message. I also have a small Santa Muerte statue, La Roja, to represent our intention. I have her here on the front. I am going to move her a little bit farther away because I do not want wax to get on this beautiful statuary of her. Tiny but mighty. But this just represents our intention. She's definitely not tiny in real life. She's very powerful. She is very strong. But this is just a small statuary to show the intention that I am bringing today of protecting our space. I feel like she's here. I thought I heard noises outside around me, but these are the offerings. She loves roses and I did put flower petals. I didn't have any real roses, so I did light rose scented incense earlier today. I have left her rose petals and cinnamon and Himalayan salt 111 and also um, I believe it was hyssop if I'm not mistaken for the additional herb as a thank you offering for helping us with our intention today, which is to claim back our energy, our confidence, our beauty, our divine feminine or divine masculine essence, take what resonates. But this is so that we can love ourselves, so that we can claim back what's rightfully ours, because I do feel that there could have been some type of negative work done with a negative beauty spell, and that was why I decided to light the black body candle as well which I love the message of reading the wax on the candle, which is already showing that there is a release on the right side of the body here. And then receiving the positivity here. It's literally flowing down the center, which I feel represents balance and clearing a path. I've also anointed the candles with protection oil from the evil eye and also with the abundance oil to open our roads of beauty of success of our confidence and our sexiness whatever that looks like for you two 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 for balance to be restored as i see that in two candles representing balance right so this is what the candles look like for now thank you all for participating thank you santissima muerte la roja which is about passion desire and beauty and claiming back our fiery energy our element on this leo season 
it's amazing how this statuary is so small but when it's on camera it looks so powerful the energy like coming off of it is unbelievable so thank you santa muerte for showing us your presence here i hope that you find these offerings acceptable i know it is not much but we humbly give these to you with our purest intention thank you so much santa muerte for allowing us to connect with you for those that need it harm to no one we simply ask that we claim back our beauty our confidence however you see fit to our highest good so these are the candles you guys thank you so much for participating let me know if you have any particular experiences with santa muerte if you leave her an offering or you have some type of um, connection or experience with her after the ceremony or as you're watching this video i send you all many blessings thank you so much for watching thank you santa muerte and goodbye